أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على الشيخ المرسلين سيدنا ومولانا محمد المصطفى صلى الله عليه وسلم بماذا تكون نازل لكم سيدي يا رسول الكريم يا حبيب العظيم ماذا يا سيدي يا سلطان الأولياء من الشيخ عبد الله فايز الداغستاني صلى الله محمد نازم حقاني مولانا شيخ هشام كباني الشيخ عدنان كباني الشيخ محمد عادل عند خالك الخوشتواني Sahib zaman Sayyidi Muhammad al-Mahdi alayhi salam, Ruhullah Sayyidina Isa alayhi salam, Sayyifullah Sayyidina alayhi salam, Dumma Sayyidina Abba Qasadiq, Sayyidina Umma, Sayyidina Uthman, Imam al-Hasan alayhi salam, Imam al-Husayn alayhi salam, Wa Sayyidatina Fatima al-Tiz alayhi salam, Wa Sayyidina Wa Sadatina Wa Siddiqina al-Fatiha. Alkeh Shafati ala Suri Kareem, Salaam. Shukran Allah which addresses from the immense light of Sayyidina Usman Jami al-Qur'an al-Majeed, the holy companion of Sayyidina Muhammad on the 17th of Zul Hijjah is the shahadat and the martyrdom of Sayyidina Usman Jami al-Qur'an al-Majeed, Sayyidina Usman ibn Arfan, the holy compiler of the holy Qur'an, the one whom was tasked with putting together Allah's uncreated words and put them with the barakah and guidance of Sayyidina Muhammad into the mushaf that we have now, the kitab that we have now. We pray that Allah dress us from those lights, bless us from His holy lights, His holy nazar and that He instilled within our hearts the lights and secrets of Holy Qur'an that Prophet passed into his heart and made him to be a custodian of. That the Holy Companions they hold an immense love and Allah created them for these miracles and these immense blessings. They're not from the physical that Prophet chose but these are ancient souls that were created for that purpose, to serve Sayyidina Muhammad to be custodians of immense realities, immense blessings. And Allah made it so easy for us to receive from these holy souls an immense grace, immense blessing and by loving them. As soon as we show love for them, we remember their sacrifice their immense commitment and difficulties that they strive for to show their love for Allah love for Sayyidina Muhammad That love bonds us with them, that our, our way is, is, is not a difficult way, our way is, is not a complicated way, it's a way based on muhabbat, ishq and love. They are Rabbi that we are weak servants and we don't claim anything with our actions and our amal. But we come through the door of muhabbat and love, that our love for them, we recognize them, we, we celebrate their life, celebrate the immense secret of their existence, we bring water, food, we post articles about this reality so that Allah dress us from the ocean of muhabbat and love. And only with that bond of love is, is power is beyond intelligence. If you approach something through your mind and intellect and say, oh I will like such and such person intellectually because they are very interesting. But the bond does not get created at the level of intellect. The bond is from the hadith, you will be with whom you love that Prophet gave to us an atomic reality that if you want your atoms, your wujud to be locked and in the orbit of somebody it has to be through muhabbat, it has to be through love, love from your soul that you love them for the sake of Allah you love them for the sake of Sayyidina Muhammad and you love them for the sake of the secret in which they carry. And based on that love we send our heart and our soul. And that's the most powerful bond is that when your heart moves towards these holy souls and your light that follows your heart begins to move towards these holy souls then that 
drop of ish that light of love begins to convey onto the soul, means they begin to transmit immense lights, immense blessings onto the soul because they be with whom they love. When they love them, that one that's holy and their souls are so blessed, they begin to dress and emanate these blessings upon the soul. This becomes the secrets of why we carry the secrets of Holy Qur'an, the secrets of all these realities. It's not from what we know but it's, it's whom we love and in that love they dress us with these blessings, bless us with these blessings. By means of all these blessings all difficulties take on away and all stations and nearnesses to Allah's Divinely Presence are achieved only through this key of muhabbat and ishq that we pray that Allah open for us an understanding of love, understanding of ishq and these holy companions that nothing can come close to the reality of what Allah created their souls, of what reality, that what type of orbit that they orbit around the existence and the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad to which nothing can come near, nothing can be achieved in its nearness. By means of loving them Allah draws our light into their reality and the generosity of their soul, it begins to convey what Allah wants them to convey and what their lights begin to convey what Allah wants them to convey. So alhamdulillah inshaAllah Allah dress us from these holy lights and these blessings in this month of Zul Hajj that the completion of a journey and the completion all related to the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad and that Allah grants that reality of martyrdom and the reality of Sayyidina Usman Jami Qur'an and Majeed in this holy month means it's a gift for the nation. That journeying into the heart of Qur'an, journeying into the lights of Qur'an and then to be greeted on the 17th with Jami al-Qur'an, the one whom compiled that reality and put the secrets of what Allah and Prophet wanted of realities dressed upon and uh, conveyed upon for the nation in which we have now today the Holy Qur'an, the Mus'haf, the book that all compile. It's these blessings that came to us and dressed to our families, our communities and all our loved ones. We pray that Allah dress us and bless us with the immensities of these nights and the blessings of these nights and that Allah complete His ni'mat upon us and prepare for us the arrival of the whole month of Muharram, the month in which is a new hijrah and that we start our hijrah with goodness, cleanliness, that we wash as we prepare for the arrival of that month. And that we make our two rakahs stepping with our right foot, asking, Ya Rabbi I'm asking with my foot because we step into everything holy through the right foot. That we take a step and then wait to another step, another step and then pray two rakahs asking Allah grant us the realities of Muharram and grant us a life of a hijrah and pilgrimage to His Divine the reality. And that we start the Muharram with Surat Al Tawbah and the secrets of the ninth surah, Surat Al Tawbah, and that Allah grant us this gate of repentance. Our way is the entry, is the gate of repentance. That to acknowledge that we are an oppressive creature and that we've oppressed ourselves, and that glory be to Allah, and that I verify and validate, I am an oppressor to myself and that I'm asking Allah to help me, to dress me, to never let go of me and grant me this ocean of forgiveness. So that pilgrimage starts with that reality of entering into Baba Tawbah and the secrets of Surat Al Tawbah and the immensity of Surat Al Tawbah we recommend for everybody in the beginning of Muharram and then throughout Muharram to read Surat Al Tawbah so that we see that the Ayatul Kareem and all the immense ayahs of Surat Al Tawbah how much they're related to the tariqah, how much it's a guidance for the tariqah and that each ayah is an immense jewel in the oceans of those realities and the dress of that reality. 
سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يصفون والسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين بحرمة محمد المصطفى وبسيرة سورة الفاتحة